Luisa Madrigal. Today we are honoring the queen with this awesome cake. I love the way it turned out, so let me show you how I did it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kuali Pops. My name is Jessica Darrow and today we are making Luisa Madrigal out of buttercream. As you guys already know, Luisa is my favorite character from Encanto. If it were up to me, the movie would be called Luisa and the Madrigal Family. Put the queen up front, okay? Don't hide her in the back. Now, if you follow me on social media, you know that I made Dolores, Bruno, and Luisa. Originally, I wasn't going to do Luisa because I already created the doll cake, but she's my favorite character, so... I knew I wanted to make her. I love the way this turned out and I'm excited to show you guys how I did it. So let's get started. So I've got my cake board. I'm using some PVC pipe couplers and PVC pipe to create my support system. I've got a four inch purple marble cake to create her neck, styrofoam to create the bottom of her head. And then I'm gonna be using two six inch round cakes to create her face. I'm going to use a third six inch round cake to create her bun, but I'm only going to just like glue it to the back with buttercream. When all of my cakes were stacked, I started to carve my Louisa shape. So I'm rounding out her bun first. And then I started to just round out all the edges, create the general shape of a face. And lastly, I thinned out her neck. Now I'm using a purple marble cake, but the purple is actually dyed strawberry. And one of the things I learned about making this cake is that I need my strawberry cake to look pink. Cause when you're eating it and you got all of that like strawberry flavor in your mouth and you look down at your plate and it's purple, it doesn't make any sense. You remember in the supermarkets when they had like green ketchup from Heinz and like, like nobody asked for that. I don't, why did they give it to us? I don't know. But it felt like that. It was terrible. Now once I was happy, I put my cake in the fridge to set up, took it out and gave this a Louisa skin tone buttercream. Now, Luisa's cheeks ended up being a lot fuller than I had anticipated, so I was able to use buttercream to add more of that fullness to my cake. I was able to fix most of my problems with buttercream. And because Luisa has like this crooked expression on her face, this cake should have been easier than my Dolores or Bruno cake. If her eyebrows are off a little bit, nobody will know because they're totally different shapes. But because she's my favorite character, I, I felt more pressure to get this cake right than the others, so it wasn't easy. Now after I applied all of my buttercream, I placed this cake in the fridge to set up and then started to perfect and carve my Luisa face. When I was happy with my shape, I smoothed down my buttercream as much as possible, and then I added white fondant to create her eyeballs. Now when I added her eyeballs, I kind of lost confidence in this cake. Before you add eyebrows and eyelashes, it's it's just, it's kind of hard to see what you created. And so I didn't think it looked like Louisa, and I was like, oh my god, I'm just gonna tell people I wanted to make Shrek's cousin. If I say this is Louisa, they're just gonna bag on me in the comments. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm not good at pretending I did a good job if I don't think I did a good job. There would be no way for me to be like, here's my beautiful Louisa cake. Ooh, oh god, I would just, I don't know. I would just like crumble up in a ball and die. Now after her face, I started to cover the back of her head and her bun with brown buttercream to create her hair color. And then I'm gonna use more fondant to create her eye color. I used it to create her eyebrows, but those were kind of just placeholders. I peeled them off and then used brown buttercream to get those babies on fleek. Now with a tiny pastry bag, I'm creating the queen's eyelashes, just trying to get them as perfect as possible. And then I added some Louisa lip color, just a nice, very neutral, very understated peach. When I was happy with her face, I added more brown buttercream to finalize her hairline. And then I used my offset spatula to give it some texture. And then I used fondant to create a very thin red bow, finalize her eyes, and voila, my Louisa cake was complete. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, oh my gosh. I'm just so proud of all these 3D cakes. This was kind of the simplest of the three Encanto cakes that I created. I was probably the most stressed about this cake because Louisa's my favorite character in Encanto. If I had screwed up on Bruno or Dolores, it wouldn't have been that big a deal because I don't like them as much. I mean, they're high. 
I'm pretty good. But Louisa, Louisa's the queen of the castle, so I can't get this wrong. Now I'm curious, who is your favorite character in Encanto? On TikTok, when I said that Louisa was my favorite and that Surface Pressure was the best song on the soundtrack, you guys were like fighting in the comments. <laughs> oh my god, it was like so heated, it was so funny. Funniest thing of all is that some of you think that Mirabelle's song is the best. Um, the house literally had a stroke after her Mirabelle's terrible song. <laughs> Those are fighting words. I can already see the comments. Your cakes are just as terrible as your opinions. Unsubscribe. <laughs> One of my friends loves the Mirabelle song and she was like, surface pressure sucks. And I was like, Mirabelle's song, they rhyme miracle with miracle. That's how terrible it is. <laughs> I don't even know if we're friends anymore. I wanna make so many more character head sculpts. So let me know in the comments who I should make next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Strawberry cake should always be pink. My Louisa cake was made of strawberry and vanilla marble cake and I dyed the strawberry purple. When I was eating it, it just didn't make sense. The color I was looking at and the flavor in my mouth, it felt off. It felt like, you know when the grocery store had the green ketchup that Heinz was trying to tell us was the future? It felt like that. I didn't like it then, I don't like it now. The purple was perfect for Louisa, but never again. My Louisa cake should have been easier. Louisa has a crooked expression and so I didn't have to worry too much about symmetry. So if like one of her eyebrows was off, it was fine because they were totally different shapes. So this cake should have been easier, but because Louisa is my favorite character, it was more stressful because I felt the pressure to get it right. This cake does not look like Louisa. At least that's what I thought before I added her eyebrows and her eyelashes. Before that, I had no confidence in this cake. I thought it was gonna look like Shrek's cousin. It's just not working out. People are gonna clown me in the comments. But after I added all of like those small details, like her lip color, I started to believe that this was gonna look like her. I ended up being very proud of it. My Louisa cake was the most stressful. Technically, my Bruno and my Dolores cake were more difficult. For Bruno, I, because Louisa's my favorite character, I felt the pressure to get everything right. So while this is probably the simplest of the three cakes, it's the one that took the most time. And that was time well spent.